Hello and welcome back to the channel and a new video on two specialised bicycles. Two specialised bicycles. <laughs> one of which is a boring road bike and one of which is a lovely little retro. I'm not going to say what they are. Let's just go and get them and um, then we can see what they are together. Together? Let's get them. Um, also today, bit of sadness. Um, we are saying goodbye to one of the bikes <coughs> on the fleet. So I am here in Halfords to get a bike box to uh, hopefully get that boxed up and posted to get to what, what bike it is uh, a bit later when I box it up for posting. Um, sad one, but needs must. You can't keep them all. It's going, to, it's going to a good home. There we go. Got our bike box from Halfords. It's about the only thing I'll ever get from Halfords. Sorry, Halfords. Now I'm probably going to skip back to early this morning when it was pitch black and I first got the two bikes out of this car. So it's going to go dark now, but bear with the video. There they are. Wow. Let's get them out. Right. It's dark, but it's actually early in the morning. The sun's just not come out yet. But that's the bikes. Uh, we can't even see them. Turn the flash on. Ah, now we can. So we have a rock hopper with um, original stuff. So might be a good one. And we've got some specialised underneath. Don't know what it is. Whoa, it's had some action. There's a lot of heel rub. Uh, Sora. It's a low end one. Anyway, let's get all this junk out. Look at that. That's cool. I think it's got specialised tyres on it. Specialised stem, specialised strong arm crank. Yeah, um, I'm going to wait till a little bit later on today when it's light and we can have a proper look at it. But yeah, that's that one. Oh, and whatever this is. Uh, specially Specialised allays in little size. So luckily that's no good for me. That can get sold. Oh, we've got a bit of free electrical tape on there. Quite a cool matte black colour. Levers bent right in there. Don't know what's happened to that. But yeah, let's wait till um, it gets a bit brighter and the sun comes up and we can have a proper look. And there she is. Let's get some little slow motion shots of some of the details. Skip to the cinematics. And this chain is totally savable with this special two pound oil from the local DIY shop. Smudge a bit of that on there, it'll be fine. Let's just uh, we need some on the bottom section as well. Yeah, that'll be all right. I'm sure we'll be riding this within uh, within hours. Let this all soak in. Could just buy a new chain for a tenner. Get a bit of this on it. Get it all soaking in there. That chain's been soaking for a few hours now. I oh, yeah. just popped out earlier to get a bike box. Oh yeah, I might as well reveal that now. Let's do it all in one shot. Uh, for that. Gutted, but that's the one that's going. Going to a good home. Dude called Mark, who's in Scotland, into a bike shop and passionate about bikes, so yeah, it couldn't be going to a better home really. Just definitely going to get really well looked after. I think used as well, I think he mentioned he was going to use it. Uh, yeah, he's on, uh, he's on the channel anyway, so drop us a comment, Mark, tell us what you're going to do with it. Give this a basic sort of strip down and do some stuff like pedals and uh, get it all boxed up. But that's what the box was for anyway. Bye bye, Dynatech Solaris. Just thought I'd share it with no stuff on it. Looks a bit fresher actually. 
took uh, my saddle bag and the shoulder bag off. Yeah, it looks even nicer now. Yeah, maybe I'll keep it actually. Just kidding, Mark. Just bung some air in the tyres of that one, but camera didn't record it. Now to do this. The alley. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that was futile. That's a knife that's done that. Jesus. I wonder if the rear's the, the same. Oh no. I like that though, they've had their money's worth out of the tyre. Well. So yeah, that's what happened to that one. Oh, maybe it wasn't a knife. There's a load of um, damage on the rim there. Unless that's from the knife, as they've slashed down like that. I don't know. Something bad's happened to it. Jesus, the wear on that. Hubs are smooth though. No play. God. Just noticed this thing, the more I look at it, it's had a hard life. What the bloody hell has happened to that saddle? <laughs> What's that? Oh my god, that's been um that's been used a lot. It's not even straight. Curves off that way. I think I'm gonna call it a day on that one. Right, that one. I quit. I'm done with it. It's uh, too well. It's not too far gone. I just I just can't be asked. I've got no interest in it. Let's move on to someone that can um, make use of the parts. So that's that one done. Right, back onto the little spec. Just going to see if I can uh, get this one going quickly, so I can give it a little pedal. Small for me. But, yeah, let's hook this brake up anyway. Right. <coughs> I think that oil's kicking in now that we put on. That it's not even rusty anymore. I'm sure that's not going to snap if I try and pedal it. So uh, next, let's get some pedals on it. There we go, V8 fitted and uh, little chain update. <coughs> that is definitely 73% functional now. We're winning. Put some more air in the tyre, but um, I think we're on borrowed time because uh, it goes in as air, it comes out as uh, tyre juice, so that's cool. Right, <coughs> What's that, what else is to do? Well, yeah, tighten up that front wheel properly and then go for a quick ride. Right, <coughs> gotta be quick as the tyre juice is all coming out of that one still. <coughs> Chain rusty still, yeah, brake is sticking on, tyres nearly touching the frame, let's go. So, first thoughts, <coughs> of course this is freaking horrendous. They're nice and close together, true 90s style. <coughs> Gears are not quite, not quite, um, what do you call it? Indexed, they are not indexed. So they are, oh god, what was that? They're slipping. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I cannot go uphill too much because it slips too badly. I think we should continue further. Uh, the chain is freeing up. As I, as I cycle, <clears throat> it's slipping a lot less, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> This bike is actually fixing itself. The chain's not actually slipping anymore, which is unbelievable considering how rusty that is. Was. Still is. Anyway, bit of a hill now. I'm going to need both hands, which are actually like blocks of ice because it's so goddamn cold. And I hope that one of the brakes might work. So, pick this up in a bit. So yeah, that was it. First ride done and um, didn't crash, nothing broke. Bike was getting better. 
say that's a win. Uh, one thing I did think though, uh, don't know why I get a feeling this is not going to be stuck, although I've said it now. Yeah, no. Every chance it could have been because we've got alloy post in steel frame, but yeah, I think something's, even though it looks like it's been left outside for about 50 years, someone's messed around with it because uh, it's got like a upgraded saddle uh someone's obviously done something with the cables and then lost interest because the back one was huge as you saw just now and the front one is still huge but it's correctly stored in that way that's what i should have done uh instead of uh chopping it off with my very blunt wire cutters so what i'm going to do now is Oh yeah, chuck a hose over it, because I sprayed a load of stuff on it. The old uh, future sponsor elbow grease, but didn't hose it off. So uh, yeah, that's it for that one. Oh, that fell over, never mind. So I'm not gonna do any hopping on, hopping on it, cause it's got two spokes missing. So I'll just do a bit of a track stand. Oh yeah, also, a little update with the uh, Willier, or however you say it. Uh, thanks, thanks for all the uh, awesome comments on this one, all the information, all the um, positive stuff everyone was saying about it. Uh, this, as you can see by uh, all my commuting lights all over it, it's uh, just been getting me to work for the last week. What a wicked bike it is. So uh, yeah, that's going to be sticking around for a little while. Uh, also, yeah, in this box <coughs> is a Kona frame. Uh, this is um, going to be have all the LX uh, put onto it. But I'll open that up and have a look. Um, probably next week's video, I think. So that'll be one to look forward to. Uh, 